Hi guys, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about how we can debug our Node Express server, the code, the models, and the controllers, and all the logic we write inside it directly inside VS Code. I don't want to go to the Chrome browser, go open up the source window and the console and the network tabs and add the debuggers and start testing our code. I want to show you that how we can directly add breakpoints in VS Code whenever we hit an API in the controller, then it should stop here directly in this code editor. Okay. So first of all, what we need to do is we have these routes, we have these controllers and the models. So first of all, we need to click on this icon. I'll be clicking on this and then I will click on the create a launch JSON file and then I need to search the node and I need to select the node dot JS file and here I need to verify this is the name I can change the name of it so I can write the node express testing and I need to keep the type this request type should be launch and the uh, rest of things should be same okay so i'm going to save this file and if i go to my file structure you will see that it will create a new folder dot vs code and inside it it has created this launch dot json file all right so now what we need to do is i'm going to first run my project uh, from here so if i go over here you can see that now it is showing that there is one launch.json file exists and that file contains an array of objects so currently we only have one object we can have more objects over here and as much objects we will be adding over here it will be shown directly in this drop down so first let's go and check out our package.json file in this file you can see that this is the command i use to run the project locally in order to run the server which is the start colon dev okay so i want to actually trigger the same command for debugger as well so in order to do that first we need to have this launch.json file added in this folder and I'm going to select the node, which is by default given in this drop down. So I'm going to select it. And after this, it is giving me the commands which are added in my package.json file. Okay. So I'm going to run the start colon dev and it has been added over here. You can see. And now if I click on this green icon, which is the play button, you can see that this command is added along with this, the debugger is attached so debugger is being attached and it will be running in the project on the same port which i used to run without debugger okay so now once this debugger is attached if i go to any of my file let's say we have this notes controller and these are all the apis and the controller of it let's try to add a breakpoint over here and let's see if we call this api if uh, it stops here or not okay so i'm gonna go to the postman and in this this is the api which is being called and now i'm going to hit send let's see if our db connection is successful yes and if i hit send and yes you can see that it is stopped over here and on the left side we can see that these are all the values and variables available currently at this state of this function but let me add another debugger and let me click on this and now we should have more uh this this particular variable should be existing over here but this is currently empty let's try to add a debugger over here and let's try to move on and now you can see that this excluded field are coming over here so this is how we can analyze which variable contains which values we can hover over particular values just like we do in the chrome browser okay so this is showing all the values because this is an array and we can keep on moving on as and uh, if you remember that we have this step over button we have this step into button and we can also refresh it refresh the debugger okay so this is how we can add and start debugging in node application using vs code directly inside it and just quickly if you still want to test in your browser then install this package which is called ndb and create a new script over here and i have just named it debug let me stop the other debugger so it has been stopped now and now if i install npm install ndb and using this command i will be running my server.js file which is actually responsible for creating the server and running the server on port 4000 okay so 
what I need to do is I need to go to package.json file where is that this is where and I will be running this command now npm run debug okay so when I will run it from this it will start attaching debugger as well because it's quite extensive and it will start a new window which is called a chromium window chromium is a headless browser and in this window it will show me all the folder structure and the files that I have in the VS code and if we go to the VS code you can see that this is running on the same port 4000 and also the DB connection is successful and now let's go ahead and try to add some breakpoints and I'm going to open up the same file notes controller and this is the breakpoint I've already added and uh, let's go to the postman and try to hit this API and see if it stops here or not so I'm going to hit send and you can see that with the NDB package which I'm using here and we can actually start the server using this command and it will open up a chromium browser and we can do everything whatever we do with the actual debugging browser okay so we can see let's try to add a debugger over here let's move on and we can see on the right side all the things the call stack and the variables uh, which is showing over here which I showed you in the VS code and also if I hover over it we can see the values directly here as well Alright guys that's pretty much it I hope that you have liked this video let me know in the comment below so don't forget to subscribe my channel hit the like button and see you in the next videos.